Hello guys, this is Sajid back again with the fifth part of our WordPress security course. In this part, we will see how we can configure the email settings without using any plugin. I strongly recommend configuring the email settings because it can help you with the security of your website. If the email setting is enabled, then WordPress will keep you updated by sending emails as something happen on your website. WordPress sends emails on many occasions. For example, if someone changes the email or password, etc. If there is a suspicious activity and your email setting is enabled, then you will be able to receive a notification for immediate action. This document lists all the situations where WordPress sends emails. The link to this document is in the description of this video. Now let's set up the email. I don't like to use too many plugins. That's why I will configure the email manually. But if you are non-technical and rely on plugins, then you can use something called WP Mail SMTP, a popular and free plugin for sending emails. The link to this plugin is in the description of this video. During the video, I will follow this article. Now I'm just going to make some changes in two files only wp-config.php and functions.php. Log in to your FTP client or cPanel and access your WordPress files. The wp-config.php is the first file which we will edit. This file resides at the root of your website. I define some variables in this file which will contain the email configuration. Now let's update these variables. I want to use my Gmail for sending emails, so I log into my Gmail first. Now click on this image and then click on manage your Google account. Now click on security. Scroll down. First enable the TwiPay if you didn't enable, then generate a new app password. If you didn't enable, then you will not see the app password option. I click on app password. I enter my password. Here I will generate app password. I choose mail custom WP and generate. Great. You will put this password in wp-config.php. SMTP underscore user is the email from which you want to send the emails. SMTP prompt should be the same as SMTP user. SMTP name is the name of the sender. It should be either your name or name of your website. That's it. We don't need to make more changes to this file. Make sure you save the changes and upload the file. The very last thing is to override the php mailer underscore init function in functions.php. I copy this. Now log into your dashboard and then click on tools and then click on theme file editor. Here choose functions.php file. Paste the code in the bottom of this file. 
now update the file as you can see the file is updated now let's test the result i request for forgot password and make sure i receive the password reset link As you can see, I received the password request link in my spam folder.